Today is July 13, 2012. My name is Jonathan Kirsch with uh, the City of Lakewood, KLTV Channel 8, and uh, I am with Linda Morton uh, as part of the Lakewood Historical Society's Oral History Project. Thank you very much for joining us on this. Thank you um, for morning. asking me. Um, let's go into uh, your years uh, serving for Lakewood. How did you become involved with the City of Lakewood? Probably in two ways. Um, I was a young mother that moved into Lakewood and in an attempt to, to make friends and get involved, I joined the American Association of University Women. And that was at a time when Lakewood was considering incorporating. So I was involved in the incorporation um, movement. And then secondly, uh, my husband and I moved to Green Mountain and we moved at a time when the neighborhood was strongly, um, was very much wanting open space preserved on Green Mountain. And I got involved in that uh, effort and was on the board of our homeowners association. And the next thing I knew, I was running for city council. <laughs> it wasn't a long planned out. <laughs> Route. What made you decide to go into into civic to, to do the civic duty to, to go into city service? I, I grew up in a family that really um, valued it, so that part wasn't difficult. But there was no planned um, progression that got me there. So you started off with uh, on city council, correct? Mm -hmm. and, and when did you serve on city council? I served on city council from eighty one to ninety one, and. I was able to do that because before uh, um, our charter was adopted, I had a two-year term, and after that, four-year term limits were in place. So I had a two-year and two four-year uh, terms on city council, and then two four-year terms as mayor. So that's a lot of city council meetings. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what years were you mayor? Uh, 91 to 99. Okay. And what role did you play in the development of Lakewood? I would say the two pieces of that that I'm the most proud of, and it's, you know, you're always a part of a team, it's not anybody just doing it, but one was in, in the preservation of Green Mountain. And every time I drive down C470 and, and all, I go, oh, that, that worked, you know, <laughs> because there was a plan to develop it to the top of the mountain and it just would have been lost for forever. Um, th the second probably most influential piece um, in the development of Lakewood was being a part of the transition of Villa Italia, frankly, going downhill and then the new um, um, shopping center, Belmar, um, coming coming to fruition, and I would have to say Mayor Steve Burkholder, who followed me, really um, was the champion of the, of the new shopping center. Who were some of your contemporaries and peers at the city when you were here? Oh, in 18 years, there were a lot of them. Um, some on staff at the city of Lakewood, such as Mike Rock, a great city manager, and um, city council and mayors like um, Linda Shaw, who I considered really a mentor. Um, oh, it, it certainly introduced me also to some of the previous um, people like Betty, Betty Miller, um, Bill Reitler, Ed Watson. Uh, some fantastic people uh, have, have served and in the city. Do you still keep in touch with them? Really do. We get together for lunches. We, um, for a very long time, um, um, the past mayors would get get together, and and meet for breakfast. And so, yes, we truly would. What mem what memorable events took place while you worked for the city? Let's see. There probably would be good ones and and bad ones, but maybe I'll just mention mention the the good ones. I think uh, uh, an intangible thing that that happened was uh, developing a real 
camaraderie of, of elected officials in, in the city. I've always thought it was very interesting. City council people don't, don't um, they're not elected by political affiliation. And I tell people this, and sometimes they don't believe it, that I'm, it was hard to tell who was in what party. We were just, um, we were just responding to the needs of the city of Lakewood and its growth and its maturity. Um, I was also involved in the Denver Regional Council of, of Government and was chairman of it as we were pushing for and developing the concept of mass transit in, um, in the whole metro area. And so now as I see the West Corridor coming to fruition, that's another one I just go, hooray, it's taken years and years and years, but you know, now it's almost there. So that was kind of a baby that developed into something that's gonna be very special for the, uh, the city's f future. What are some of your favorite memories of your time here? I, uh, I would say memories with the very special people here in the city of Lakewood. I, and uh, when I walked in today, Carol Gosnell met me with a great big hug and Carol's been taking care of me for years and years and years. Um, it would be impossible to name all of those folks that um, have done so much for the city. Kathy Stapleton, someone who was not a mayor but was on city council, um, has done more to help the seniors and elderly in the city of Lakewood for a very long time. Um, it's, they're good memories. They are really good memories, but they're very people-oriented. What do you want to be remembered for in terms of your contributions to the city? I, th I think the city really went from a city that was developing from its baby stages into the bigger arena of Denver Metro um, leadership issues. I, I just mentioned I served as chairman of Dr. Cog, the Denver Regional Council of Governments, but also was the founding um, chairman of the Metro Mayor's Caucus. And that caucus has, has really worked together as a team to get a number of things from mass transit to air quality issues uh, to housing issues across the metro area. Um, through all of that, and because of a lot of other mayors, <laughs> um, Lakewood, Lakewood really has known, has become known as having a very strong metro-wide leadership role. How did working for Lakewood influence your life? It made me know, it made me learn the mistakes that can be made in government. Uh, it also has really proven to me how people that put their personal egos aside, um, how they can accomplish a lot. And I think of local government as very, a very healthy level of government. And um, uh, I, I, um, I think Lakewood's just begun in terms of continuing to be a leader in the state of Colorado. How did working for Lakewood affect and influence your immediate family? Oh my gracious, they would like to answer that themselves, I'm sure. I would say my husband was absolutely wonderful in encouraging me to, to do this. Um, when I started on city council, we had young children, and so I know he took up slack there. I have two daughters that know very well how to knock on doors and how to campaign and how to make campaign signs, although you don't make them the way we did <laughs> anymore. Uh, I think I have one that's very involved in local government, and I don't know, one that kind of has pulled back so uh, but they're, they're, they're good 
good girls and adult girls, and and I think they learned a lot about how politics work. So what did you do after your work for the city? I have done some consulting work, uh, largely in the arena of community organizing and working with people that have projects in in cities, uh, really not in the city of Lakewood, um, and a lot around transportation issues, but have, have done some of that facilitation work. Um, we both happily and sadly moved from the city of Lakewood about six years ago to Roxborough Park. Um, so I, I, I miss it and yet we're having an, uh, kind of a new adventure in our life now. What was the best part about working for the city? Good people, really, really good professional people in the city of Lakewood. It, um, it's, it's been that way for a long time and as I see new people that are on board, I know that the, you know, that standard has been upheld. And Lakewood really has a good reputation metro-wide because that's um, what I've been doing more of, of recently in terms of boards and commissions and that, that type of thing. And Lakewood pretty much stands out in people's minds as one of the most progressive cities, um, I would say in the state, actually. What was one of the, what, what were some of the worst parts about working for the city? I think one of the hardest issues that I dealt with was, um, was the development of this whole area, the, um, where City Hall is right now, the development of the Belmar area. It took many iterations of plan, planning before we ended up with this wonderful new city building, the arts, the cultural arts building. Um, this development had to wait a long time, but I think it, I can look back. I was impatient uh, in earlier years, but I can look back and say, you know, it was worth doing it right. Um, but it was, it, that was hard. And it really created some the gr groups that worked against each, each other in the city. And also the watching Villa Italia kind of die, um, that, was, that was very hard and I was very, very close to that. And, uh, but now as I walk around Belmar and see the excitement and the whole community enthusiasm around Belmar, I think that was all a good, healthy transition. And, and again, you make really good friends here in the city and you have to say goodbye to them. And, you know, I've had people um, pass on that were just strong leaders in the city. And, uh, but on the, on the whole, it's been a healthy experience for me. I know you haven't lived in Lakewood for, for six years now, but when you look at when you, when you started on city council, how Lakewood was then to how it is now, what are your thoughts? It's just become, well, when I, when I first started um, working in Lakewood, and I was teaching at Stein Elementary here too, Lakewood still seemed in the country, and um, it didn't seem like the cohesive city that it is is now. And again, I'm talking over a whole bunch of years, but I think the next transition of Lakewood is going to happen as the West Quarter um, opens up because it's, it's going to change housing in some areas of the city. It's going to allow people to get into downtown Denver so much easier and back out. I think it's going to link, link us with our, our central city. So we've really, we've really come of age um, over time. And I also think that a real standard has been 
um, put out there for folks that um, can become leaders in the city of, of Lakewood. We don't have, um, well, I just, I just think we keep a very high standard and I hope that's always true. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Linda, for coming in and taking part in this project. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me.